Ever wondered why some people are swimming in greenbacks while others are always trying to make ends meet? The secret lies in understanding personal finance. Personal finance isn't just about counting pennies and dimes, it's about understanding the principles that help you grow and maintain your wealth. It's about knowing how to make your money work for you, rather than you working for your money. In the next few minutes, we'll be diving deep into the world of personal finance, peeling back the layers to reveal five crucial facts that can help you take charge of your financial future. These five truths aren't just theories, they're proven strategies that have helped countless individuals transform their financial lives, from understanding the magic of compound interest to the importance of starting your investment journey early, We've got a lot to cover, so buckle up because we're about to take a thrilling ride into the world of personal finance. Stay tuned as we unravel the five personal finance facts that can transform your financial life. Let's start with the eighth wonder of the world, the magic of compound interest. Now imagine this, you're planting a seed. This seed is your initial investment, your principal. With time and care, this seed grows into a sturdy tree, bearing fruits year after year. That's the essence of compound interest. Your money grows, and then the growth itself grows. It's growth on steroids, really. So, what's the buzz about compound interest? Well, it's your money's best friend. It's that secret ingredient that turns your financial stew from bland to zesty over time. And the best part? It requires no extra effort from you. Just patience and time. Think of it this way. You invest $100 today at an annual interest rate of 5%. By the end of the year, you have $105 leave it for another year, and you're not just earning interest on your initial $100, but also on the $5 interest from the first year. So, you end up with $110.25 at the end of the second year. Now imagine that happening year after year for 20, 30, or even 50 years. Your money is not just growing, it's multiplying. But here's the kicker. The earlier you start, the more time your money has to work its magic. Let's take two friends, Early Bird and Late Bloomer. Early Bird starts investing $1,000 a year at age 25, while Late Bloomer starts at 35. Both retire at 65. Even though Late Bloomer invested for the same number of years as Early Bird, the latter ends up with almost twice as much money. Why? Because Early Bird's money had an extra 10 years to compound. So how can you leverage this? Start saving and investing early, consistently, and let your money sit for as long as possible. The more time your money has to compound, the more it will grow. And remember, it's never too late to start. The magic of compound interest is always at work, no matter when you start. Turns out time is indeed money when it comes to compound interest. If you're enjoying this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more personal finance tips. Ever wondered why you're always broke before the month ends? It's time to talk about budgeting. It's like the secret weapon in your personal finance arsenal. And no, it's not about being a penny pincher or depriving yourself of that delicious latte. It's about understanding where your money goes and making conscious decisions. Let's imagine your money as a group of tiny soldiers. Without a strategy or a map, they'll march aimlessly. And before you know it, you've lost half your army to unnecessary skirmishes, or in our case, impulse purchases. Budgeting is that strategy, that map. It's the drill sergeant for your money soldiers. It gives you a clear view of your income, your expenses, and allows you to allocate your money where it's needed the most. This way, each dollar knows its mission. The benefits? Oh, they're plenty. Firstly, budgeting brings financial awareness. It's like turning on the lights in a dark room. You can see everything. You know what's coming in, what's going out, and where it's going. No more financial fumbling in the dark. Secondly, budgeting reduces stress. Yes, you heard it right. Money woes often lead to sleepless nights, but when you have a plan, your mind is at ease. You know you're in control, not your bills or your whims. Lastly, budgeting improves money management. It's like a fitness routine for your money. You trim the fat, build financial muscles, and before you know it, you're financially fit. Now, how do you start budgeting? It's simple. Begin by tracking your income and expenses. There are several apps available that can help you with this. Then, categorize your spending, decide what's necessary, and what's not. Allocate your income accordingly, and voila! You've got yourself a budget. Remember, Rome wasn't built in a day. It takes time and patience. You might overshoot your budget in the first few months, but don't lose heart. Make adjustments, learn from your mistakes, and keep going. Remember, a budget isn't about restricting what you spend, it gives you permission to spend without guilt or regret. Now let's address the elephant in the room, the D word, debt. We've all been there, right? 
It's like that pesky fly that just won't leave you alone. But it's not all doom and gloom. With a little bit of know-how, you can swat that debt fly away and enjoy your financial picnic in peace. Debt, in its various forms, is a common part of life. From student loans to credit cards, mortgages and car loans, it seems almost impossible to escape. But let's not forget, debt is not inherently bad. It can enable us to make significant purchases such as a home or an education, which can enhance our lives and financial well-being. The trick, however, is to manage it wisely. So how do we do that? Well, for starters, prioritizing high-interest debt is a must. Think of it as the biggest, meanest debt monster in your financial closet. The faster you deal with it, the less it ends up costing you in the long run. By focusing on these debts first, you can significantly reduce the amount of interest you pay over time. Then there's the art of avoiding unnecessary borrowing. This is like choosing not to invite any more flies to your picnic. Before taking on debt, it's crucial to ask yourself, do I really need this? If the answer is no, then it's probably best to keep your wallet shut. But what if you're already knee-deep in debt? Don't panic. The key is to have a solid debt repayment plan. This can be as simple as setting aside a specific amount each month to pay off your debts. Remember, consistency is key. It's like going to the gym. You won't see results overnight but stick with it and you'll be flexing your debt-free muscles before you know it. And lastly, always stay vigilant against debt accumulation. It's easy to fall into the trap of buy now, pay later. But remember, every time you swipe that credit card, it's like adding another fly to your picnic. So, keep a close eye on your spending habits to ensure they align with your financial goals. In the end, it's not about how much money you make, it's how much you keep. And keeping involves managing debts wisely. So, let's get swatting those debt flies, shall we? What if your car breaks down or you lose your job tomorrow? That's where the emergency fund steps in. It's a financial buffer that can keep you afloat in a time of need without having to rely on credit cards or loans. It's like an umbrella for life's rainy days. Now you may wonder, how big should this fund be? Well, financial experts often recommend having three to six months worth of living expenses tucked away. This should be enough to cover unforeseen events such as sudden job loss, medical emergencies, or major car repairs. But remember, this isn't a one-size-fits-all. Your personal circumstances and risk tolerance should guide your decision. But how do you build an emergency fund when you're living paycheck to paycheck? Start small. Even setting aside a few dollars each week can make a difference over time. Consider setting up automated transfers to your savings account. This way, you're saving without even thinking about it. Also, look for ways to adjust your budget. Maybe it's canceling that gym membership you never use or skipping the daily latte. Every little bit helps. And don't be discouraged if progress seems slow. Building an emergency fund is a marathon, not a sprint. It's about creating a habit of saving and making consistent progress over time. Remember, an emergency fund is insurance for your finances. You hope you never need to use it, but it's there just in case. The sooner you start investing, the longer your money has to grow. It's as simple as that. You see, when it comes to investing, time is a crucial element. It's a bit like baking a cake. The longer you bake it, the better it turns out. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not suggesting you throw your money into the oven and wait for it to rise. Instead, think of investing as planting a seed. The earlier you plant that seed and nurture it, the more time it has to grow into a sturdy tree, bearing the fruits of your patient care. Even if you're starting with small amounts, the magic of compound interest can transform those humble beginnings into a substantial nest egg over time. And here's the kicker. Investing isn't just about building wealth. It's about achieving your financial goals, whether that's buying a house, paying for your kid's college, or sailing into a comfortable retirement. Now, if you're new to the world of investing, don't fret. There are plenty of beginner-friendly options out there. Think about starting with a diversified portfolio of low-cost index funds or exchange-traded funds. You can also use robo-advisors, which automate investing based on your financial goals and risk tolerance. Remember, the key is to start early and stay consistent. So, there you have it, the five personal finance facts that can set you on the path to financial freedom. Remember, it's not about how much money you earn, but how you manage it that truly matters. If you found these personal finance facts helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more financial wisdom. Remember, your financial future is in your hands.